Hey, we gotta make this really quick. We might die. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Break, break, reload. Reload! Ooh, ow, ow, ooh. Okay, get in, get in, get in. Hello, all you fair to partly clouded people out there. Paladin here from the Knights of Respawn. I would switch it into first person or the third person, but I can't because I mean, this game doesn't have that. And welcome back to No Man's Sky. Uh, it has been a little while since we played No Man's Sky together. I haven't really done anything. I've kind of had this save game on hold just for us. So last time, if I'm not mistaken. We get that is a really pretty ship. We uh, got our hard drive working, and we went to the next uh, solar system over. And the last solar system was discovered by someone named Cheesy Nachos. So I think now we need to find some more hyperdrive fuel. And I don't have the recipe to. Oh wow, that's crazy looking. I don't have the recipe to make hyperdrive fuel yet and so what we're gonna have to do is explore around some planets and see if we can't find uh, either the blueprint or someone that we can buy the hyperdrive fuel from or at least the components to make hyperdrive fuel so we are gonna have to go doing that then maybe we can find some way to make some money and like get a better ship or find a crash ship I mean who knows right uh, this is kind of where we're gonna start doing some exploring so let's check out this seemingly ugly red planet right here because I mean honestly it doesn't really look all that pretty it's that planet over there undiscovered all right well oh, wait what is that hang on a minute what is that manufacturing facility Let's go there. Wait, how do I... Mm, there it goes. Pulse engines. Wait. Uh, is it this button? Oh, whoa. What? Uh, ooh. Uh-huh. Ooh-hoo-hoo. Well, uh, well, uh, hi there, guys. Fancy seeing you here. Um, <laughs> just going to speed past him. Like, wow. 30 seconds away. Man, did you see that those freighters just like popped right in? They're just boom! <laughs> At least they didn't attack us or anything. I mean, I don't think they can attack us, but we're gonna go to this manufacturing facility. I feel like the game is telling us to go there for a reason. It could be that um, that manufacturing facility is where we're gonna find the blueprint we need to make our uh, hyperdrive fuel. I could be mistaken, but it's just a, it's a theory. Oh, oh, crap, 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 crap. No, 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 no. Ooh, uh. Okay, whoo. <laughs> I thought we were going to hit something. We got to fix this. There we go. Three, two, three, two, one, and back up to a minute. Nope, can't have that. There we go, 30 seconds. I'll, I'll, I'll take 30 seconds. This planet's looking kind of green. I think the last the last planet we were on was green, wasn't it? I know uh, they made some changes to where No Man's Sky is... Whoa, that's some weird graphical stuff going on there. Why is it all... I must be, like, bouncing between space and land. There you go. They made it to where No Man's Sky has a... You know, they made the planets a little bit more pretty. But I'm thinking since we just started and we're on the outskirts of the galaxy, we're not really our galaxy. But yeah, we're on the outskirts of their the the, the galaxy universe, whatever it's called, uh, in this game. Since we're on the outskirts, we're running into a lot of the desolate, dry, ugly, barren planets. At least this looks like it might have some trees. Or bushes shrubberies? The shrubberies! Yeah, it's probably shrubberies. <laughs> 
It's interesting how everything's kind of... Okay, here we are! Land! Nailed it! Oh, yeah, there's grass and trees. Okay. Wow, green grass on top of that. That's kind of neat. Huh. Well, all right. Let's head over. Let's head over to this spa or this save spot right here. Oh. I have to mess with my sensitivity. I feel like it's a little too high. Okay. Hmm. Oh. I don't have an atlas. I don't have an atlas pass yet. We're getting there. Oh, this isn't going to be good. Hmm. I mean, I have a bolt caster, but can it break that? And as soon as I attack this, those security bots are going to come after me. Alright, let's fix the sensitivity now. Alright, my... Move look sensitivity might be a little too high. Let's try this. That feels about right. Oh. Okay, you know what? I can't just cower in fear. Drop that security bot. Where's the other one? He, did he not even notice? Reload, reload, reload. No, no, don't mining laser. Re re Are these guys docile or what? Mine him then. Do you mind? <laughs> oh my goodness. Sentinel force is deactivated. Haha, -ha, I killed all the witnesses. That, that sounds really bad. Um... You know I can't make that sound any better. I just, I killed all the witnesses. Alright then. Security has already been warned. Okay, we gotta, we've gotta make this quick, guys. Ow! Ow! Oh my gosh. Okay, we gotta make this really quick. We might die. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Break, break, reload. Reload! Ooh, ow, ow, ooh! Okay, get in, get in, get in! Oh my gosh! The heck, man? Look at his eyes all red, he's angry! Come on, what now? What now? You can't discharge firearms inside a base, huh? That's right, it's against the rules! Yeah, scan me if you want, fool! Can't do nothing! Uh, what was I doing? Oh yeah, I gotta shut this alarm off. Okay, let's see. Let's, uh, let's get, figure out how to disarm this alarm. Somewhere below my feet, I hear the endless churn of automated machinery performing unknown tasks for unknown masters. A screen flickers into life. The letters stamp themselves across it. N-A-D-A, -A, -A, or nada, nada, escape atlas, find us, nada, nada. And then a formula is displayed. How to make my own antimatter. Well, thank you, guys. <laughs> With this knowledge, I can create warp cells. All right, that's what I was looking for. Cool. Well, all right. Let's, uh... Interact with this, get us some uh, nanite clusters. Can I interact with this? Interact with this. Get a little bit of money. Interact with this plant and steal some carbon off of it. Because, I mean, why wouldn't you? Are you still scanning me? No, okay, cool. Alright, I was wrong. That, that sensitivity is bad. Turn it back up to 50. I had it on 60 earlier. I'm just moving everything around. Oh, there we go. All right. 
hop in the ship here and see if we can't make some stuff. All right, so we need fuel for the hyperdrive. Oh, wait, let's get over here. So to make a warp cell, we need to make... Oh, we need thamium. So we need some T9 and we need antimatter. Uh, to make antimatter, we need electron vapor. And to make electron vapor, we need suspension fluid. And to make suspension fluid, we don't know how to make suspension fluid. Uh, all right, well, there we go. I guess we explore this planet for a little while. Maybe we'll run into a uh, blueprint for suspension fluid. And while we're at it, we'll see if we can't find some T9. Ooh, it looks like it's fall. Look at the oranges and the reds. We got here. Looks like a rest stop. Go ahead and discover it. Oh, there's some T9 up there. We'll have to climb up on top of that hill here in a minute. Get that T9. Wow, somebody left here angry. Must have not liked the accommodations. Wait. Hey, I learned the Gek word for give. Which is pretty appropriate because the Gek are a mercantile race who are fairly selfish. So, yeah. That's right. I don't like the Gek. I'm kind of racist against the Gek. Sounds bad. Sounds really bad, actually. Alright, let's see if we can't get up here. We're gonna Skyrim it. Uh, forget it. We got it. We got this. There's that beautiful T9 flower. We need some of that to make the stuff that we're gonna be making later. You know what I'm not seeing, though? I am not seeing any, uh, plutonium anywhere. Oh, overshot. Hmm. Oh, wow, that sun's bright. Just look at that landscape. Wow. I was wrong, man. I thought this place looked ugly when we were landing, but look at this. It just has these little patches of just pretty grass. Look at that. Just like the green and yellow striped plants. Now, give me your carbon. Oh, wait. My bad. Now, give me your carbon. Such a beautiful plant. I'm not seeing anything that's... I need a craft special laser for that. Well, I'm not really seeing anything that's majorly harvestable. I mean, there's a cave over here. Oh, dude, you guys want to go explore a cave? We, I haven't taken, I haven't taken us into a cave yet, have I? Look at that. And that is really cool. Well, you know, the whole thing is we're supposed to just be exploring. We're gonna be exploring and like learning things together so let's just hop down I don't know how deep this cave is it might not be very deep it looks like it's just a little hole in the ground to be fully honest yep just a little hole in the ground can't mind that it's real pretty though hmm yep so can't get out of this hole oh what? look at that birds what are those things? Can I scan you? Yeah, we scanned it. I don't know what it is, but we scanned it. Oh, there's some plutonium. Plutonium makes the world go round. We need that. And like I said before, uh, the No Man's Sky videos are really more laid back they're not as action-packed as some of the other videos I've been doing so I figured I'll let you know this is more of a us relaxing and hanging out and seeing the beautiful worlds of no man's sky and every now and then we'll run into like a sentinel drone attack or something you know <laughs> take off all right Let's see what else we can find we just flew through those uh bird creatures 
Wow. Because that's where we came from. So let's look around over here. Anything? It's a point of interest over there. Let's go ahead and head that way. I'm hoping these points of interest, one of them is going to have a blueprint for us. So then we can start working on our uh, hyperdrive fuel. Whew, land. A little crack there. This looks like another rest area. We'll go ahead and discover it. Kind of looks like the sun's getting ready to go down. I think this game has day nights. Ooh. The door's been ripped open. Ugh. It looks like... Ow! Oh, hey, killer plant. What's up, buddy? It looks like, uh... Some scientist or something, they were growing some kind of plant species inside this tube. And it broke out. And it looks like it attacked everything. It, like, it destroyed everything here. That console's busted. It's just growing up the wall. Yeah, I don't care. You don't do that much damage. That's crazy. Well, there's no one here to use any of this stuff, so I might as well use it, right? Real quick. This looks like a console. Oh, it is. It's just a console covered in something dangerous looking. Inventory full? Well, we can't have that. Let's see here. Oh, sericulture. Transfer that to the ship, and transfer that to the ship, and that, and that. Put that, and that. There we go. Okay, we got space. Now, let's see. What we got here? It looks like a wound on the world, crimson and ragged edged. Like something that once lived but was then torn asunder. I should have stayed away. Had I the senses to taste the air of this planet... I imagine it would have reeked with some kind of alien fetter. But nothing could stall my curiosity. Was it dead? Where, where I touched it, the surface was moist and yielding. It seemed to become molten then, crawling on a mat of slow cilia, moving from me. I should have left it alone. Ugh. Analyze the data. I discovered something coded deep inside the long dead traveler's data log. Something has been, eh, I don't know, eh, something has been given to me to aid me in my journey, I'm assuming, because that's what most of them end with. Hey, plutonium, my old friend. Thanks for coming to visit. Oh, hey, security droid. How's it going? You alone? Good. I believe I made enemies. That's right. Dip and dodge. Gotta kill him before he alerts his buddies. Let's go. Now he's dead. Hmm. I thought these guys dropped things. Did I miss it? Oh, there they are. Yeah, I see them. They're buried in the grass here. Inventory's full again. Oh, that's cool. That ain't cool. All right. Well, we might we might wind up having to find some merchants at some point instead of uh, okay. We're out. What's our time look like? Alright, we've been playing for 20 minutes now. Okay. Gotta keep an eye on the clock. That way, you know, we get... We get, uh... I don't go over. There we go. That's an interesting looking cave. It's got a little trail of blue in it. I wonder why. 
Hmm. That's just the way the color is where the ground's colored. Scan. Anything? There we go. If we don't find anything soon, we'll probably move on to the next planet. Oh, what do we have here? I think these things are the things we've seen earlier. Um, they have suit upgrades in them. Which is good, because, I mean, we need suit upgrades, right? It's nice to have a... Is that a big floating rock? Heck yeah. Floating rocks are awesome. It, it, keep overshooting. There we go. I will gladly take it. Thank you. Cost us 20,000 units, but you know what? It was worth it, because now we can carry one more thing. One extra thing. Where's the ship at? There it is. Boot! You never run when I leave you. <laughs> Kudos to anyone. Hey, if you, if you got that reference, if you got that reference I just used, let me know in the comments. Because, I mean, not many people... Uh, recognize the quote from that movie. Hmm. Let me know at the round table down below. Here we go. Here's another point of interest. Let's go. Like I said, I'm not, I'm not being all goofy or zany in this video or anything. We're really just kind of laying back, chilling and hanging out and just enjoying each other's presence. Oh wow, these are cool looking trees. Yeah. It's another rest area. How many rest areas does one planet need? Well, yeah, coming out. <laughs> well, Earth has a few. I mean, you know. I think we might, uh,. Explore this, explore this planet until the end of the video, and then next planet or next video we'll go to a different planet, and we'll just each each video we'll just keep exploring different planets until we get the stuff we need to make enough fuel to go to the next uh, um, solar system, and we'll just continue that uh, pattern until we make it somewhere significant. I guess I'm also looking, I'm searching for a beautiful planet that I deem worthy to make a base because I played No Man's Sky for a while when it first launched but I haven't played the Pathfinder update yet or the uh, Foundation update so I've never built a base I've never had to be you know, I've never built my own base before so that'd be kind of neat maybe something kind of fun to do I think there we go I've always when I've played No Man's Sky um, mined, sold, and explored, <laughs> and I enjoyed it. I mean, eventually, you know, like like usual, you get burned out doing the same stuff over and over again, and that kind of happened. But I mean, for the most part, that's just kind of what I, I I that's my my No Man's Sky experience has been just that. Docking. I'm learning a lot of geck words. This looks like a security facility. Oh man, you know what this means. We're gonna be fighting drones again. You know, I should have. I I think I would have. You you. Rewind, focus. Words, use them. You would have thought I would have gotten a new multi-tool by now, or something. Well, these things break pretty easy. Let's just do it. Boom! Whatever's inside, I'll take it. Oh no, we don't. Okay, hey buddy. Nope, nope, no, no, no. I don't want any trouble. I don't want any trouble. Okay. Woo! Crapo. Well, um... Uh... Carbon? Take the carbon? No? Okay, I hear ya. Uh, what do I... Can I charge? Crap, I need Thamium to charge. I'm not gonna use my T9 to... Yeah, no, we're not gonna do that. Um... Can I recharge you with some iron? We'll recharge you with some iron. That didn't free up any space. Well, poop. Um... Let's discard nickel. Nobody needs any nickel. 
Well, I, I could have probably used nickel, but still. It's all these green things I got here that are weighing me down. As I open this up, that's what I'll get. Let's, uh... Oh, I already shot. Might as well finish. Go, 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 go! AR, whatever that stands for. Hey, nope. Back off, punk. Wait, reload. Hang on a minute. Let me reload. Don't shoot. Gotcha. Aha, you're down. I used to get titanium from these guys back in the original release. Reload. Bob and weave. Yeah, no, no free slots and shoot inventory. Hmm. Well. Oh, Sentinel Force has been deactivated. Okay, we have time. Let's, uh, recharge this with some carbon. Get that out of my inventory and a little bit of plutonium. Okay. Back to it now. Really want to pick up whatever's in here. Sometimes there's blueprints in there. We'll see. We'll see. Let's just break them all before we kill the drones. Otherwise, we're going to be fighting drones a whole lot. Let's just break everything. Break it all. Break it all. Break it all. Don't kill me. I promise I'm a good person. I'm not purposely stealing from you. I'm just purposely breaking the things to get the items out of them. It's okay. Is that it? Is that it? Is that all? Yes! Alright! I don't even know what this is or whether it's any good or not. RMD. Okay, whatever. Okay, give me a blueprint. Okay, or a new, new, a new Trito module is good too. That's fine. What's that? Nope. What do we get from that? Whatever they are, it was things that I could have gotten. Skip. Skip. Oh, hold the skip. My bad. I don't know what I got from those things. Oh, yeah. Nanite clusters. Okay, that's cool. Oh. Ooh. <laughs> Alright, let's, uh... Let's head. Let's just, uh... I haven't found anything on this planet yet. Let's just get the heck out and... Head back to the space station so we can sell some stuff, and we'll probably end the we'll probably end the video off there. Um, I might even have to edit some of this out because it looks like we've been running for about 20, 27 minutes now. Right, let's set a course for the space station. It's three hours away. Man. Well, we got uh, one of the blueprints we needed. We're still a little bit away. I think next episode we are going to explore uh, the next planet over and see if we can't find something. Right now, uh, I might head back off camera and do a little bit more exploring on that green planet. Maybe there's some a crash ship or something I can pick up, but for the most part, I didn't see I didn't see a lot on that planet. I mean, oh crap! No, no, stop, stop, freeze, halt. Okay, hoo 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 hoo. I have crashed in. You know, I, I might have done it on camera too. I've crashed into one of these space stations before. It's not fun. Do a barrel roll. There we go. There's another reference if you want to try to get it. But I gotta tell you. To be fully honest, guys, that is all the time we have today. We've been going for about 23 minutes now. 23? We've been going for about 30 minutes. <laughs> 30 minutes now. Uh, I gotta say, that is really all the time we have for this video. So, uh, if you like what you saw, go ahead and leave a like. If you want your voice to be heard, you can do so down at the round table below. I hope you guys enjoyed watching the video as much as I enjoyed making it. As always, I hope you guys have a positive week. I'll see you in the next video, and God bless.